All right, and last but not least, we have our organ module here on the far left of the piano. Similar to the piano and the sample synth patch, to turn it on, there's a button here at the top, the on and off. You have your level volume next to it and the keyboard split, just like before. Um, what you'll also notice is that there's this knob here that says master level. Now, this is going to be your master volume for the entire keyboard um, and is found on the very, very far left. So if you're trying to turn up the whole sound of the keyboard, you use this guy. Now, cycling through patches on the organ is a bit different than the piano and the sample synth. Um, um, and you do so by using this black button on the far left side. Um, and you have six different organ patches here. Um, you have a B3, which is modeled after a classic electromechanical tone wheel organ. You have your Vox model, based off of a famous transitor bass, or, or it's a famous transitor bass combo organ that emerged in the early 60s. A FARF model, which is like a more buzzy sounding organ, um, and it has an interesting drawbar system that I'll get back to in just a minute. You have your Pipe 1, which is an all-purpose organ not modeled after anything specific, pretty similar to the B3 patch. You have your Pipe 2, which is a, a recreation of a principal pipe section, which would be an organ that you would commonly find in a church. And you have your B3 bass model, or B3, yeah, B3 organ model, uh, which is just like the bass section of your um, B3 model. All right. So draw bars, um, in short, allow for different frequencies to thicken up your harmonic material when you play a note on the organ. So I guess the best way to understanding this, and I will put um, in in the, on the screen the different organ patch the patches and what draw bars resound certain um, pitches on the piano if you play one note. But the easiest way to understand it is just by listening to it and hearing how um, the sound thickens up through the frequencies. Um, so if I'm playing one note and just have the lowest draw bar all the way pulled in, um, when all the lights are, are on, the draw bar is pulled all the way out. Um, and the pull and push um, has to do with the original organ. Um, when you would pull out on an organ, it would have a bunch of knobs that you pulled, um, and it would allow air to pass through certain tubes that create a different sound. Um, so if, if the low one's played all the way, all you really hear is that low sounding pitch, right? But as I t pull out these other draw bars, you'll hear um, the sound almost, almost um, start playing notes that are above this and below this, so, or, or um, they sound below. So listen. Here it adds, it adds the fifth. So you're getting that, all those, all those different resonating pipe sounds um, by pressing just a single note based on what draw bars are pulled in and out. Now, when using the draw bars, I think a good thing to, to think about um, is how you just want to shape the sound. So if I'm playing um, this chord up here and I'm like, yeah, I really don't like how much low end is on this, um, you can just start to take that off. And you're like, oh, it's still a little bit ringy on the high, so I'm going to take off a bit of the high, right? Until, until, you, until you like the sound. Until you're like, oh, that's the, that's the organ sound that I want. Now. Um, like I mentioned before, this FARF model up here functions a little bit different. The other, um, um, the other organ patches, the B3, the Pipe 1, Pipe 2, and the B3 bass all function in the way that I explained. Um, but the Vox, the Vox um, model um, functions a little bit different. You have, um, it's basic, based after the, the instrument that it is. It, this, this knob moves up and down um, and kind of help it shapes the overall sound. Um, and then the FARF model, uh, you didn't actually have draw bars. You didn't, you didn't get to pull it out. So it had switches on it. So you, can, you would be able to switch up and down to change those pitches. All right. So moving over in the organ module, um, we have a few different ways of saving patches and using patches. Um, over here, um, you have a preset button. Um, and what this basically is, is two different versions of your organ um, that you can save and that you can access immediately um, apart from the, um, 
or yeah, just just two patches. So if I have this these draw bars at this certain way, and I like this sound, but I also want to to play a, a lot thinner sound um, that I use in a different part of the song, I can switch between the two really easily using this preset button. Um, and you simply have to do is just press it, and it'll switch to the preset, the preset, the second option. Um, and you'll see that right now the preset option is with all the draw bars on, and then that preset off is the is the edits that I made before. So I can edit um, the preset off, and then press that preset and go back to the other preset, or the other option. But if I want to edit this preset button, I just hold down the preset button, and then I adjust my draw bars, and release, and it will save that preset as this draw bar um, configuration. And now you'll see if I go back to the original preset, of the original um, draw bar configuration by unclicking the preset, it'll go back to my original sound. And if I click the preset, it'll go back to that new saved or altered preset. So in plain, the originally edited draw bars, right? My, my first sound, my sound one that I want to use at the beginning of the song, and then click on the preset, bam, there's my sound two that I want to use at the later part of the song. Um, and so it just lets you switch between those draw bars without you having to go like, like press them all a bunch in the middle of your um, set and just lets you cycle through seamlessly. Um, something else um, cool about organ presets and saves is that you have something called um, a manual organ. And what this is, is an organ patch that sort of exists outside of um, the program tab. So if I'm in my saved organ, church organ patch in the program tab, um, but I want a different sounding organ, I, I can use this manual organ um, and it, it, it functions outside of the programs. So I can switch between that church organ, the church, the church keys patch or whatever, um, and this manual organ will stay the same throughout. Um, so to access the manual organ, you use the shift button and you press manual organ and it'll light up green. Um, and you can adjust all, all these, these draw bars and just save a patch that is independent from everything else that's saved. So if I'm, again, if I have messed up with all these and I'm on this organ patch and I'm like, okay, but I really like that one manual organ sound that I, I saved and I want to use it all the time, I can just quickly switch to that by clicking on the manual organ. So another way to think about it is that you have two different organ draw bar configurations that you can set with this preset button, switching on and off, right? You have one and two different options. And then you have a third option that exists outside of the saved programs. That is the manual organ. And the reason I say it exists outside is because when you save um, a program for these two presets that you've made, um, it will not save your manual organ. Your manual organ will, will, will save um, every time you move it. So if you if I do this and I turn off the keyboard and turn it back on, the manual organ uh, draw bar configuration is going to remain the same. All right. Um, up here you have an octave up and an octave down, just like the other two. Um, piano and the sample synth sections. You have your control and sustain pedal alterations. Um, over here you have uh, manual organ and edit lower manual and dual organ. And what this does is it kind of acts as a keyboard split in its own way, and you can have two different organ patches on the left and the right hand. So you'll see if I press shift and I turn this on, it'll turn on dual organ, and you can and you can see here over here um, that you have two different configurations of draw bars, um, and you'll see as I move up and down, um, oh, as I move up and down these these draw bars, so will the top. So right now I'm controlling the top organ uh, because it's on the right side, and if I want to configure my organ that I want in the left hand, I press the shift button and press this edit lower manual, or, or, or actually, sorry, I don't have to press the shift button. I press the shift button to turn on the dual organ, and I press the, the, the button again just to edit lower manual, and you'll see it'll light up and it'll switch to lower, so I can adjust the draw bars of the lower, and then switch back and adjust the draw bars of the upper. So it's a, it's a way that you can control the um, overall sound, um, 
the left and the right hand sound of the organ, which is really helpful if you want to bass your left hand with less high fundamentals and 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 a uh, um, or harmonics and a brighter up upper hand. All right. So moving on, we have our vibrato and chorus um, functions. You can cycle through um, the different kinds of vibrato and the different kinds of choruses using this button. Different organ patches have different amounts assigned to here. Um, so like if I'm in um, the Vox model, I only have three different options. Um, and so they vary on that. And then just to turn that one on is this gray button here at the top. Again, as I've been saying, it's best just to experiment and see which ones you like the most. Um, over here we have our percussion tab. Um, this one's really interesting. Um, and what it does is when you turn it on, um, oh, when you turn it on, by the way, it doesn't work. That was that was a good it, um, <laughs> mistake. It doesn't, it only works in the B3 model. Um, it doesn't work on the other organ models. Um, and that's just because the B3 is such a larger pack than, than all the other ones. And what it does is it adds more of an attack. Um, and this attack level can be adjusted in the menu. And when it adds an attack and also sounds a, uh, an octave above the note that's played for just a second. Um, and basically what it's doing is creating the sound of like when you hit the pipe, um, uh, it, it creates that like that pipe sound, that percussive hitting of the actual um, uh, air hitting on that the tube for the organ. Um, and so what this what this what this does is it creates that an attack with a pitch to it. So it adds an attack and it adds like a little pitch to it that disappears pretty fast. So if this third button is off, it adds um, an attack and that extra attack with an octave. But if you add the third on, it adds an octave and a fifth. So let's see if we can try to hear this um, here. So I'm just going to press the note really sharp. That's with it on, and then with it off. On. It gives it a slightly more brighter sound, and that attack is still kind of existent there. And then you turn on the third, and you can barely hear it, but it's an octave and a fifth above, so it's an octave and a fifth, so it's, just, it's a G all the way up here. All right, and then this slow and this fast, um, button basically makes it so that you have a slower um, a, sl a slower decay or a faster decay um, of, of that initial percussive attack. All right. Um, and then finally, we have this rotary function at the bottom, which is really cool. Um, and what this does is it reproduces the sound of the rotating horn and bass rotor. Um, and the best way to really know, know what that means is to actually hear it. So you have two different options. You have a slow and a fast version of it. In that slow version, you can stop these rotors or you can stop the spinning of it. Um, and in the fast version, you, you can't. So just, just, and you stop it by using this stop mode at, at the beginning. Um, and one other thing to note is that this rotary function is tied to the speaker compressor function over here on the right hand side. Um, so it'll it'll be that rotary option which you can turn up the intensity um, like like you can with the other amplifiers and cabinets. So if I have this on slow, um, you'll hear that the organ kind of does this this weird like like up and down motion and sound. Almost sounds like a flanger. And it's supposed to emulate that rotating horn sound. And you hear it spinning, and then I'm going to press the stop mode, and it's going to shut off. It switches on and off that effect. All right, and then with it fast, really fast. So once again, we'll have it off, slow, fast. All right, gives that nice gospel sound. Um, something important to note is that you can turn it on over here, but you can't turn it off over here. You have to turn it off uh, by using the speaker compressor um, effects tab and just and cycle that off there. Um, 
But yeah, I love using this function, just kind of picking up that sound, make it sound more gospel-y. It's a really cool um, sound to use for that. Um, and that is essentially the organ patch over here on the left-hand side. I think it's definitely worth it to explore that manual that I attached below um, that discusses uh, the draw bars and understanding like an organ and why some of these say bass and string. It's, it's because of how the, these mo organ models were originally laid out. Um, it's super cool and really in depth there. So I hope that helped your understanding of this Nord Electro 6 keyboard and um, that you'll continue to learn about it and be able to utilize all the many functions that it has and really just have fun. All right, guys, till next time, we'll see you then.